I'm seeing a lot of YouTube videos um, basically just having a massive go at this company called Sweet Baby Inc. And to the most part, I kind of get where they're coming from. Games today are written with a narrative. They're written with an agenda. They're made with um, a purpose to spread a message. And I, I get where people are coming from on that front. But I'd just like to point something out. This company, Sweet Baby Inc., is an advisory company. They get hired by these studios to go in and maybe, I don't know what they do, what, what they try and throw a little bit of this here and a little bit of that there. And do you know what? I'm sure they do say a lot of wacky stuff when they go into these studios. But I was looking at a list of the games that they've been involved with and i want you to think about the games they've been involved with and then you tell me were those games bad because of diversity and inclusion at this so-called company because they've made they've been involved with a lot of flopped flopped games and it's diversity 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 and inclusion that people are saying as, oh, this, this, this is why this company, or why these games were bad. It is not. I can tell you that for a fact. Let's start with, I don't know, um, Gotham Knights. Was Gotham Knights bad because of diversity and inclusion? No. To be honest with you, I don't even remember any diversity and inclusion. That game was shit because it ran like crap. The gameplay was absolute whack. The story was dog shit. It failed because of them reasons. Some parts of it were actually all right, but overall it was a, just a crap game. Uh, Starfield, they were included in that. I think they stuck some pronouns in at the beginning when you were choosing your character. Whoop, whoop, big deal. Pick whatever you are and move on the rest of the game was it wasn't bad because of diversity and inclusion it was bad because it was boring as fuck it was boring as shit another game let's think uh what other games have been included saints row why was that shit well the writing was in dog shit the story was absolute dog shit the gameplay was dog shit. It was like it was made for an Xbox 360. It was an appalling game. The gameplay was crap. It was horrible. It was glitchy. It was full of bugs. Everything about that game was dog shit. But it didn't fail because some little stupid little company that comes in and does a bit of diversity and inclusion in a story. That did not make this get them getting that game bad. The game was bad because it was dog shit and it's the same with a lot of games not just ones that are these are included with games in general are shit because of the way they're writing the stories nowadays the amount of money they're spending on it where's all the money going i don't know it looks like they're just throwing it in a bin and burning it it's not to do with just this company People need to just not get off the back. I understand why people are moaning. They're part of the part of the problem. But overall, it's the studios. It's the money makers. It's the guys at the back. They're making the decisions. They don't have to take these people's advice, but they do. I'm sure there's more than one company that do this exact same job that Sweet Baby Inc. do. There's probably more than one. And these are the ones that get chosen. And I'm sure they come up with loads of wacky ideas. And a lot of them get thrown in the bin. But at the end of the day, the games that they do are involved in are not bad because of diversity and inclusion. They're bad because they're absolute dog shit. I mean, if you look at some of the other games that they have been involved with, 
like let's say Guardians of the Galaxy. That game was fucking amazing from start to finish. Underrated as hell. Amazing game. They were included in that. They did the same job that they do with all the others. Uh, Alan Wake 2. Need I say more? They were included with uh, God of War. Again, another amazing game. So I think people are putting the blame in the wrong place. Yes, I understand they don't want the diversity included, blah, 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 and all that. I get all that. But my main point is they're putting the blame in the wrong place. You're putting all your energy in the wrong place. You really are. Start shouting at the studios, man. Start sh shouting at the writers. Start shouting at the people that put the money into these, spend the, put the money into these games. Because it's them that's doing it. So these ain't the problem. The problem is much bigger. So you having a little Twitter spat about a company that has basically a little part in a game. Yes, they're involved in a lot, but does it is it is it anything when it comes to the big picture of people getting ripped off? Hmm, no. But that's just my opinion and uh See you in the next one.